Okay, this video is going to introduce GladNet Cloud Server, our replacement for Cloud AFS. First step is to download the product and then pick the correct platform. In our case, it's 64 bit. Okay, now we'll select our installation location. And now we begin the install. Okay, this installation screen should be familiar to anyone who's installed CloudFS or GladNet product before. It's a simple wizard-based install. We select our installation folder. And now we are ready to begin. The GladNet Cloud Server is integrated with our new GladNet Cloud for Teams service. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Okay, now we need to reboot after the install. You can read more about our GladNet Cloud for Teams service on our website, www.gladnet.com. Okay, so now the install is completed. We now start the Manager Console for the first time. And the first thing we need to do is enter our account information to connect this GladNet Cloud server with the GladNet Cloud. So here we have a convenient test account configured. We'll enter the credentials. Wait for the verification. Configure a cache location. This cache is very useful. It means that as our users enjoy clientless access to cloud services, uh, they will have the feel of a LAN because of our caching. Okay, and now we see we're connected to our GladNet cloud server. We have a few attached local folders. These are coming from the cloud service, which unifies local and cloud storage. And we will later add cloud storage to this cloud server and then publish shares from the cloud and from local shares to our users. If we need to change our account configuration, we'll do it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount our Amazon S3 account and our credentials. All right, so now we have mounted S3 storage and also we have GladNet cloud storage that we can use to present information to our team members. So there's the new Amazon S3 US bucket that we just published. And you can see that there are some existing folders that came from various file servers in our organization, as well as from our GladNet cloud storage. And there's our ABC folder within the Amazon S3 cloud storage. So let's visit the, visit the AWS Manager Console to verify that we are in fact connected to our S3 account. And yes, there we have the same ABC folder. So let's publish a new share from our newly mounted Amazon cloud storage. And let's grant access to some users. Notice the integration with Active Directory or NT domains. Okay, and now we have our first published share. So let's map a network drive to that published share. And now our client has this, uh, enjoyed clientless access to this Amazon S3 storage. So let's populate this with some data.
actually before we populate with data, we're going to create a new share. Now this share will be our pictures folder from the GLADNIC cloud storage. And there's going to be an important distinction between the published share from our GladNet cloud storage and the published share from the Amazon S3 account that's attached just to this cloud server. Okay, so now we have two published shares, one connected to Amazon and one connected to our GladNet cloud storage. Let's map a drive to our GladNet cloud storage. Okay, so now our client has mounted two shares to, this, to the GladNet cloud server. One connected to GladNet cloud storage and one connected to our Amazon S3 account. Now we'll copy some pictures from the client machine into the published share corresponding to, see pictures under G, underscore G cloud. That is our GladNet cloud storage. Now, as soon as we do this, these pictures become available to any client connected to the GladNet cloud storage. So we're going to launch our web interface into GladNet cloud. Demonstrating that the upload has been completed. Go to Browse Files in our web interface to our published pictures folder, and there we have it. So without installing any client, a user, by mapping a share from the GladNet Cloud Server, was able to push files into their GladNet Cloud Storage, thereby making them accessible to any other client who was added to the GladNet Cloud account. Now let's do the same thing for our published folder, which was connected to Amazon S3 storage. We'll grab the same pictures, pull them into our second mounted file share. And now we've just enjoyed clientless access to our Amazon S3 storage, which we will demonstrate by revisiting the AWS Management Console. So what we have here is that we've given users the ability to uh, enjoy clientless access to cloud storage, whether it be on a separate account or in their own GladNet cloud storage accounts. GladNet cloud server is first and foremost a file server. To that file server we attach cloud storage either from GladNet cloud or from your own account. And this cloud storage can be published to individual users for clientless access, providing an on-premise gateway to cloud services.